Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back. Fett plays Civilization VI. Gathering Storm. We need amenities, but we also need to probably settle down on these wars. We got a lot of them going. Oh. And there goes Preslov. Oh, boy. That means we kicked all of their people out. So now we got a little bit of trouble over here. We do have money. I should be able to buy someone to help. Yeah, no, screw you guys. And this whole Mbongo thing. I'm not let no, I'm not giving you a chance to start this military emergency and then take the city. Yeah, you're not getting this bonus for for nothing. Our progress towards nuclear program has advanced considerably. And synthetic materials. Very nice. Time for this city to attack. And I think uh, right now our best solution is to go after some of those. Okay. Hire us some field cannons. It's the safest option by far. Dude, their pike and shots are incredibly strong. We sh will probably be able to defend the city, but it's going to be tough. In fact, let's make it a little bit easier. Victor, I love you here in Toledo, but I need you to move. Three turns, he'll be over there, and that city will be able to start shooting twice per turn. I think we'll still have a decent amount of loyalty over here. We should be fine. We also got F. Scott Fitzgerald. Beautiful in the dam. Alright, more error score is always good. Got to get rid of all these notices. Alright, we're still probably far away from getting another city or another uh, group of envoys. Of course, it was Pericles. Yeah, we're pretty far away. It's fine. Washington can now build a new district. They recommend an encampment, and I don't blame you for recommending that, because it gives us more construction. More production, I should say. Yeah, let's get a let's get a encampment in Washington. St. Louis has built an aerodrome. And now you want an aqueduct? Why do you need an aqueduct? Get a hangar. Brasilia. Prepare. Fitzgerald. Head to Bolshoi, and I completely forgot about Johan Bach. Yo. There you go. And you can listen to the rest of that, uh, you know, somewhere else. Let's see here. Max, it's time to move you. Let's send you... Now let's send you to Athens. Go to Athens. Rangers? Let's scoot back. Let's scoot back into allied territory for now, so you can heal up. You're a little injured. Only there was a way to shoot around these mountains. These mountains are rough, man. The rest of our war machine continues to head west. Do we have... How many grievances do we have with Brazil? Not that many, actually. We may be able to avoid a war with them. Uh, you're going to have to wait, F. Scott Fitzgerald. Whether you like it or not. That said, New York's going to be bowman here. Okay, AT crews are ready to go. Let's set you on alert. I think I'm more focused on just moving them over there than actually using them. Right now, at least. Really? You're just gonna let your... Let your guys get destroyed? Alright. You're not gonna get far if you keep trying to attack the city like that. But I'm not gonna stop you! Repair your holy site. Builders? Give me a sawmill. Yeah, why not? Traders, just repeat your trade routes. 
We got one more for Bach. Oh, nope. This one doesn't have a, another free great music slot. So go to New York and take a nap, I guess. I forgot I could have, could have had Eiffel help with this, but we'll have him help with the next wonder. Amory Blaine inherited from his mother every trait, except the stray inexpressible few that made him worthwhile. Hmm. All right, battleship. Oh my God, these these guys are the luckiest. Well, unless you're this squad room, then your luck's run out. Actually, there should be a city over here. Hmm. Ching Shi stands on deck, spyglass to eyes. Enemy ships sink into the ocean's depth. Very, you know, very difficult battle. We almost lost, I'm sure. All right. Help our privateer pick out this other naval unit first. Boom. We're going to be concentrating on Zulu's units because they're more advanced. Hello, promotion. How you doing? Excellent. I think we got this city in the bag. Artillery, welcome. Stay on alert. Tanks, stay on alert. Keep moving west. Mm. I mean, I do have six diamonds. Was this toys? You have toys? I want toys. Can I have toys? Not under any circ. Well, you only got one, so I guess that makes some sense. How about silver? Make it more equitable. Hell no. I'll give you eight gold. No. You're not going to get what you want this way. Uh, damn it. They took out Pingala. He's been removed for seven turns. I hope I don't find out who did that. Also, an ironclad tried to attack us. You'll give us the statue of David for peace. I'll accept that. I like how right when my battleship got on their borders, they're like, whoa, whoa, slow down here for a minute. Have a statue of a naked guy. As, you know, is tradition. Hey, did, didn't I give you the last judgment? Also, savior and glory. And you'll cede the city to me. And 106 for 30 turns? Done. All right. There is now peace in our time. Rising smoke, humming machinery. The power of nature has been harnessed by America in the cause of power and progress. Nothing on this earth lasts forever, except maybe plastic. We can now upgrade our rangers too. And we get offshore oil rigs and fishing boats. Awesome. Let's go for some more electricity. We can get some oil power. Our privateer can be promoted. Silent running can move after attacking. I like that. Plus it leads to an additional attack per turn. Charleston, congrats on the coal power, my dudes. Now harness that power to get us the power of... Wow, you really need amenities or something. We need one more population, but they're not... But Charleston's not growing. Can I concentrate? Have you guys concentrated on food? I can. Okay. 39 turns and they'll grow. You know what? Train a spy. I don't know what I want this builder. I, I kind of want this builder to stand by in case we have another natural disaster. All right. Pingala being taken out was awful, but I think it'll be okay in the long run. Okay. Where do we have... Spots for great works. We have places for relics. No more places for any kind of writing. So we can get more amphitheaters. Yeah, we are officially... We have officially declared... Words, man. Declare peace on everybody. Go here and heal. Once you've done that, we'll see if you're going to be settling near Madrid or over here. I'm actually, I actually have no idea yet. The field cannons helped out quite a bit there. 
All right. Let's get to the northern border. Treasury's filling up quite nicely, indeed. 300 gold per turn. I'm not complaining. Sumeria has researched economics. Kree are trying to build the Statue of Liberty. Poundmaker is interfering with Delian League, so they're uh, trying to get city-states. Hmm. Brazil also happy about our treasury proceedings. The clever men at Oxford know all there is to be known, but they none of them know one half as much as intelligent Mr. Toad. Very nice. For science. That flock to our shores now. That was weird. If we build a seaside resort, we may be able to benefit from this new attraction to the ocean. That's cool, but did you guys hear that too? A world without radio is a deaf world. I don't know if you did. Uh, we can now find aluminum. We can build seaside resorts. And we can build film studios. A unique building to America. Nice. It does take power. There may be no forgiveness for polyester. On this one matter, Satan and the Lord are in agreement. Can get turn light cavalry into helicopters. Can get geothermal plants, although I don't think we have any place to actually put those. And extra gold for camps, which is fantastic. Excellent news. We have a new method of producing power. Woo. Uh, aluminum. Here and here. really, we built Oxford on top of aluminum. We did. Which means we should be able to get it for free. It's usually how that works. All right, we do want to definitely make use of this one, though. Yo, Bach, you got to be stepping, dude. New York, get us a builder. We need to get some more of these uh, natural resources. Philadelphia has built a bank. Ooh, we can get Ruhr Valley. You know what? We'll lose the wheat, but I think it's still worth it. Has a lot of production for Philly. Baltimore's completed Oxford. It could now build a film studio, but we need power for that. The only problem with power is that power, this is a good place for an industrial zone, will lead to climate change. Right now, it's not really being contributed to too much. Although it is mostly being contributed to by us. Although Sumeria and Pericles, the Greeks, are getting in on the game, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we do that again? Oh, this is how we're burning it. We're burning oil and coal. Gotcha. Yeah, we burned all of the oil. We're the only ones using oil right now. As is American tradition. Build me an armory, please. Uh, Congo, I can't believe you don't have a granary. Field cannons. Move north. Trader. You know what? Let's see if we can improve relations a little bit by trading with Rio. Privateers? Stand on guard. Okay. With peace, we can maybe finally settle down and take a look at our positioning here. We have, like, about 80 more science per turn than anyone else. Oh, okay. So much for trading. You occupy one of their cities. Well, maybe you shouldn't have gone to war with us. We're way ahead on raw Why amounts is of technology. Why treated differently? Woman's suffrage will succeed, despite this miserable guerrilla opposition. Finest hour. All units plus five combat strength when fighting in or adjacent to home territory. That's pretty powerful. That actually goes on would go on top of the the plus five we already have on our continent. So that would make us very powerful in home territory. And the New Deal. Four housing and two amenities to all cities with at least three districts. That might be what we're going for, but we're of course going towards democracy. That'll get us an extra, extra economic policy, another extra diplomatic, which will become another wild card. 
Trade routes to an ally city provide plus four food and four production for both cities. Well, we got to start trading with uh, Sumeria then. Alliance points with all allies increase by an additional 0.25 per turn. This is going to be excellent. And a discount on all purchases with gold. Centuries of political philosophy culminate in a, to a new expression for modern times. As America chooses democracy as its new government for the future. All right, a new economic policy. What do we do with that? I think we're going to go with the New Deal. You gotta. We got the New Deal and the five-year plan. Sounds pretty good. Who would liberalism we can get even more amenities? We got a lot of happy people. We could just keep pumping that up. I kind of like that idea. Get rid of those complaints about about amenities that I hear every other turn. We are now two points away from avoiding a dark age. Let's next go toward... We really don't need class struggle or totalitarianism now. Professional sports sounds like a good idea, though. I heard America likes those. Got a zoo. How do you do? Get us a bank. And we also have a bank over here in Mabumbi. So I think a research lab seems appropriate. Let's see. Let's upgrade the industrial zone here in Mpinda. Uh Battleship is fully healed. So I tell you what. Head up toward Madrid. But stay in our territory. And we'll just hang out right here. All right. Aluminium. Make it ours. Boost our knowledge of nanotechnology. Rangers. Upgrade to Spec Ops. Very cool. Are you guys still at war with uh, Greece? You are, technically. Okay. Something to keep in mind. Right, I do want to see if we can get some trade going on. Maybe we can get a trading with Sparta. That would be good. We got this boy over here. So are we getting the aluminum here? I don't think it actually did give us the, the aluminum, which kind of stinks. But oh well. Just stay there, builder, in case I need you later. Okay, so four more turns before I can put Pingala back down. It does hurt our science, but that's okay. We can manage. Cultural victory, we're also pretty far ahead. We're getting a hundred more culture per turn than Pericles. Domination, our military strength is 1,042. The only one who comes close is the Zulu. Philip has zero military strength. Religious victory, of course, we're not going to win that one, but hopefully we can at least make sure that Brazil doesn't. And Philip is the only one with any diplomatic points. Yikes. That's okay, though. At least there's still a few others who have other religions. So here we are on culture victory. I, I have 279 domestic tourists, which means everyone else would need 280 or more in order to win a culture victory. I only need 179 visiting tourists to America to be ahead of Pericles, which would give me the win. As long as I have more visiting tourists than anyone else has visiting to, toward me or something like that. You have to have more visiting tourists than anyone else has domestic tourists. That's what it means. This number needs to be higher than this number. That's, that's it. Nobody's heading towards science victory. Dude, the score. I'm a little ahead. All right. Next turn. It's enough dilly-dallying about things. Cree have earned Mark Twain. Well, good for you. I just noticed this, but I'm actually losing coal per turn. So I'm using a lot for power plants. Dude, you really want me to freaking move my army back over here? Our I alliances will. are short-term declarations. In order to maintain them, we will need to renew our declaration of friendship and propose a new alliance. Well, Benjamin Franklin may have discovered electricity, but it was the man who invented the meter who made the money. 
can build seaports, hydroelectric dams. I want to build as many of these as possible. Easy, easy electricity. Oil plants, submarines. We can upgrade our naval raiders to those, so our privateers. Takes oil per turn, but pretty strong. Very nice. Let's get us... What do we have? Um, oh, you know what? Infantry. Finally upgrade our muskets. And why don't you go ahead and build yourself a granary here and then upgrade our privateers to submarines. Very nice. Who else needs orders? Uh, yeah, more oil. We'll be, we'll be fine, thank you. Um, oh, we got kicked out because we don't have open borders anymore. Gilgamesh! Dude. Clear friendship? Yes. We are still good friends. Declare an alliance. You know, we don't necessarily need the military alliance anymore. We get... The other ones are all about trade, though. Although the cultural alliance will keep us from exerting uh, pressure on each other. And affecting each other's loyalty. But we're not even on the same continent, so who cares? The religious one would be about the same, but I don't want a religious one. I want... Let's just keep going with the military one. Well, what makes it more equitable? Why would I give you gold? You know what? Here. Take 100 gold. Alright, I want those alliance points. Next level, military alliance. Will give us extra production toward military units while we're at war. Alright, spec ops could, could actually go back up there now, but... For now, I guess you guys can continue exploring. And that's what you're good at. All right. Let's get some people back on the eastern border. And by some people, I apparently just mean our field cannons. And rebase our biplane here. I have a mod to Congo. There we go. Just in case they decide to try anything stupid. Spain is trading with Cree. Hello, Sumerian Apostle. Do you allow us to establish an embassy? Sure. Oh, happy day. That sounds like something Shaka of the Zulu would say. Uh, I'm basing on every other actual, you know, themed dot piece of dialogue he's ever had. Congo, you've built yourself a granary. Awesome. Give me a military academy, please. Alright. Just stay here for now. Get us that oil. Do we have more... Are there any more sources of coal in our borders? That we might not be taking advantage of? That's niter. Not seeing any. Hmm. I see a lot of oil. I'm seeing little coal. So I'm thinking that means we need to. There's even iron here. I'm thinking that means we need to switch over to oil power ASAP. So Charleston, as soon as you're done with that spy, that's going to be your next mission. Brazil has earned Emily Dickinson. Well, good for them. All right, you got one build point left. Let's go ahead and actually build an oil rig off the coast of Washington. I'm sure they won't complain. The moment on the rest to neutralize their governor. Get steal exemplary novels, though. Let's start with a listening post. A little bit more diplomatic info. Spain has denounced Brazil. The Zulu have plundered an enemy farm. Hmm. It's not good for our Sumerian allies. Brazil has gotten a great musician. We have furthered our agricultural technology yet again. For a machine to run smoothly and predictably, hmm. its parts must be standard and hence replaceable. Extra food adjacency bonus for every farm that's next to another farm. 
We can now upgrade all of our muskets to infantry, and we can build the food market for extra food in a neighborhood. Very cool. Who knew that grocery stores were such advanced technology? Let's get computers next. That'll give us the ability to build flood barriers. Dude, one turn for a barracks? Let's go. Alright. Pingala has returned. Thank goodness. Get into Washington, my dude. Alright. Next turn. It looks like we're going to have a shopping mall in New York here in just a bit. Spices for 5 gold for 30 turns. I'm cool with that. Why you seem so upset about that, but okay. I'm actually cool with it. Sumeria has denounced Brazil. Yeah, it looks like another war with Brazil might be coming up here soon. Whether we like it or not. Some unused niter over here. Uh, let's, before we forget, start upgrading our infantry. So, there's one. There's two infantry. Do we have any more muskets? Yes, we do. We have these guys. We cannot afford to upgrade them again. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll hold off. Um... Get a theater square over here in Washington. Oh, we can also get another government building. Let's see. War Department. Units heal up to 20 points when they eliminate a unit. That's pretty cool. Governor title, of course, and the Dem Democratic Legacy Policy Card. Royal Society. Builders gain the ability to use all of their charges to provide bonus production to a district project. That's pretty neat, too. And the National hum History Museum. Four slots for any great work. That seems to be the one that goes best with what we're going for, which is culture. A film studio in New York sounds like a bright idea to me. Akaruna. Get us a dam. We could definitely use it. Just to make sure we don't hit flooding anywhere. I also want to get more builders up here because we got a bunch of niter and oil up here in Toledo that is just not being used. If winning isn't everything, why do they keep score? I mean, you're not wrong. Let's see. Sports media. Doubles theater square adjacency bonuses. And stadiums generate an amenity, which allows... And we can also build stadiums now, which is better amenities. We can build the biggest stadium, Estadio do Maracana, which is amenities for each city in your civilization. And culture and entertainment. That might be a good one to build. Aquatic Center, basically the water version of uh, the stadium. And the ski resort. Unlocks the builder's ability to construct a ski resort. Provides tourism equal to the mountain tiles appeal. Very cool. Give me the nuclear program. That won't scare anyone. Uh, workshop for Baltimore, please. Uh, amphitheater would be fantastic, actually. All right. got some soldiers over here. The Rough Riders cannot be upgraded yet. That's something to keep in mind. I feel like they're close to being able to be upgraded. Greece is going to try to build the University of Sankor. Good for them. Hmm. The Zulu Apostles. Very cool. Brazil has added a new settlement. Alright. A new spy has been completed in Charleston. Good for you. Get us? No, 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 no. Like I said, your next job, convert to oil power. A bank is completed in Mabamba. You want me to build helicopters for some reason? But I'm like, nah, I want more industry. I guess this is the best place to put it. Hello, Pamela. Let's have you counter spy for now. But let's have you go to Washington before you do. Take two turns to get there. It's going to be our best option, I think, because they're probably going to try to keep trying to take out uh, Pingala, I'm going to assume. 
But America's looking pretty big right now. Pretty darn strong at turn 300 out of 500. Wow, we actually lost quite a few tourists during the last couple of turns. But we could start pushing tourism soon by building some more great wonders. Or wonders, as it own. I think when New York is done with the film studio, I might head in that direction and have Gustav Eiffel help out a bit. But anyway, that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays Civilization 6. Gathering Storm, if you enjoyed it, make sure you let me know, I give it a like, all that good stuff. Everybody kind of dislikes us, except for Gilgamesh, but that's fine. You know what, the only friends I need are you guys who are viewing and hopefully liking, and who knows, even maybe subscribing for more. Thanks again for watching this episode of That Plays Civilization 6. My name is Thet, I don't know where the music went, but I will see you in the next video.